The 911 center was inundated with calls. Um, we had a really quick response. As you know, that's only a couple blocks away from the station. We had multiple agencies respond. It, it was a situation where everyone went. Uh, we had less than a one-minute response to the first call that came in. A hectic scene early this morning that has now turned into a somber day in Jefferson City. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Hannah Falcon. Following breaking news we've been covering all day, we start with the latest in a shooting at Jefferson City Bar that took two lives. Flowers, pictured here behind me, are sitting outside Jay Fenney's for the two victims of the shooting. ABC 17's Marina Diaz joins us live after watching a vigil that was held by the victim's family and friends. Marina, can you tell us what you saw there? lost their life during last night's shooting here in Jefferson City, shared memories and reminisced on the lives of those gone too soon. Flowers can still be seen left in front of Jay Finney's and local bars and restaurants in the area took, um, took the night off in a moment of gratitude and to kind of remember those who were taken away too soon. Family and friends gathered in front of Jay Finney's in Jefferson City in remembrance of 26-year-old Skylar Smock and 43-year-old Corey Thames. The two lost their lives when 35-year-old Damian L. Davis opened fire following a fight that broke out at the bar. Smock, an employee at the bar, attempted to break up the fight and escort Thames out of the business when Davis began firing a handgun. Police say Davis admitted to shooting at Thames and unintentionally shooting Smock. Davis is charged with multiple crimes, including two counts of first-degree murder and unlawful possession of a firearm. Davis has prior felony conviction for domestic assault and distribution of narcotics that made it illegal for him to have a firearm in his possession. Jefferson City's Lieutenant David Williams says their response time was quick with multiple officers from several agencies arriving on scene within minutes. The 911 center was inundated with calls. Um, we had a really quick response. As you know, that's only a couple blocks away from the station. We had multiple agencies respond. It, it was a situation where everyone went. Uh, we had less than a one minute response to the first call that came in. Hannah, it has been a quiet and somber night here in Jefferson City as the city continues to mourn the loss of those two victims. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. Thank you for that reporting, Marina. Hope you stay dry out there. Davis is currently being held at the Cole County Jail.